Tell us a bit about, um, you, you grew up in a sporting house, I mean, by virtue of your dad, which we've spoken about before, he was a football sort yeah, of guy, yeah. wasn't he? Um, but I'm wondering, I mean, school-wise, were you comfortable on the sports field, or did you find it all a bit disgusting and what weird? What do you think? I don't know, because I don't know <laughs> when you started to decide not to be into Well, like, the thing with puberty came along, and I woke up, and I had, like, um, knockers, you know, knockers, and, then, um, <laughs> and the voice of a pensioner, and... Um, <laughs> It was art. I mean, the trouble is, because I, I sort of woke up with these, and then, you know, you're doing country dancing and stuff. Yes. And you'd be going round the maypole and everything, and then you'd start getting, like, older gentlemen coming along watching, do you know what I mean? So, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know. And yeah. then, because my dad was football manager, they'd make me um, captain of the football team, and I'd be like, no, there's been a mistake, do you know what I mean? You can't. And then I'd be like, ah! kicking it, you know, <laughs> all over my, my goldie horn. Um, yeah, I just wasn't, um, I just wasn't sporty. I think there must have been a mix-up at the hospital or something. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think there's some hairdresser crying because the son's got up to be home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a footballer. No one will take on my salon. And what happened? <laughs> <laughs>